So, like, I, but I swear we've seen this not too long ago. By the way, Matta underscore door was taken by a guy with zero followers and zero following. That's tragic. That is sad, man. Free Matta underscore free, door. Free my man's Matta door. Yeah. Matta underscore door. Anyway, here we go. Matta door versus Dingus Joe. Game one on Smashville. Bit of some early trades going on. No one really gaining the clear edge, but Matta's in the air. And now he's not. You see him just dancing around. I mean, that's kind of what Wario does. Like, Wario has that great aerial mobility, so he'll just be dancing around almost anyone. Game & Watch has the ability to kind of check that down. He has his dash attack, he has his up smash. So part of it comes down to how well can Matador stay on the ground while Dinkus is on the ground. Because all of his uh, really strong options are from the ground. Yeah. There's the up smash, and Chef coming to the rescue. Right, the bike. Oh, Ding Show almost had that scattered out. But he still gets that back air. Starts to set the stage. Time for dinner with that chef. Oh, and there's the loss, and that yes. is a stock. Yeah. We've seen that setup from Matador so many times. But actually, I feel like we've seen almost every aerial combo in the waft from Matador. He just. In there, the up air, that. the down air. We're just waiting for back air waft. Who knows? Yeah, maybe sour spot back air. Maybe even off the lock. Yeah. But while we're getting uh, sidetracked off of that, Dingus Joe did a good job evening up the stock count. Up smash seems to be the name of the game, and that's not too surprising. Impact of the uh, down air getting Matador off him. He's eating this nair percentage. Uh, but now Mador has stage control. Trying to keep him checked down. Poking mm -hmm. him off stage. That's a lot of damage, and a light character like Game Watch can't afford to be taken. On ledge, that. Dinkus has got to be careful to avoid that bike. All right. right there. Yes. Keep Good him job. Another right, right, back here. He doesn't have a bike, too, so if Dinkus can just keep on forcing it to issue here, it could pay out in his favor. I don't think he wants to break that bike. Well, Matador would break it himself. Mm -hmm. Collect on that insurance, get a new bike. Yeah, man. Shout out to Geico game. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, dangerous percents for the both of them. I think Matador might actually be in 2 2 percents here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there might be a bit too much rage. Well, no, like, because Dingus Joe, he kind of fishes for grabs. But I don't think he was even, like, thinking about it too much. He was just trying to get the stock by any means necessary. 119. Gets the dash attack to kind of clear the stage more. And we're all the way Ooh. out here, and he misses the tech. Not like I that. Mean. I think the uh, bike coming up might have hit Dingus and it shot him into a fucking. Yeah, but the thing is, it hit him at such a slow speed that I guarantee you that Dingus Joe buffered that tech, yeah. but it was too early. You have a lot of time to buffer that uh, window in there, but if you do it too early, there's a big set of time where you just can't do it again. Yeah. All right, so game two. And the counter pick, interesting. It's going to be FD. No, yeah, it's Dingus' counter pick. Yeah, Dingus is, yeah, yeah. It's a Dingus staple. Yeah, I still thought that Dingus won that game. So yeah. I was like, wait, why did he pick this? But yeah, unfortunately, Dingus Joe. Interesting from Matador. Take a bit of punishment from it. I think he just wanted to make Dingus Joe respect him. That's the thing. Like, sometimes you got to go for the wild options early where the punishments won't be that bad. To just fear them or make them fear going for it later on where it would matter more. Mm. Bit of conditioning going on. But so far, Ding or Matador is just really turning up the heat a Ooh. little bit. He ha doesn't have a jump, but he should be fine. Or just Ding is looking for that spike. Did one of them hit the stage in tech? Uh, Matador that didn't tech. Matador. He got stage spiked, but he it wasn't enough to like you know kill him. No, he was at like 50 or something. Should have anyway. He, he did get stage spike, but like he okay. used the bike to make it back. Okay. And the double from the bike, and oh. that's another stage spike, and Matador not ready for the tech. Yeah, and that was an instance of another buffer tech. That time, Matador did it too late. Yeah. So in a situation where he could have survived, he buffered air dodge and died. Unlucky. I think it's getting into his flow, just sort of dancing around Matador. Flow stopped. E an optimism. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> Nah, Dingus Joe's definitely still in it, but that was quite an up air coming through from Matador, hitting right at the end of that invincibility from uh, Dingus Joe. Dingus throwing out these 2-2s, two just keeping Matador in the air. Trying to call out some landing options. Alright, now a lot more respect coming through on these two players. A lot more of a calculated neutral. These guys are slugging. I think Dingus Joe knows. There's Matador fishing for that uh, down air. 
because Waff is about to come up, I think. Yeah, but I think Pikachu does know the dangerous position that he is in because of that Waft. Yes. Yeah, there, like you oh. said, it's right there. There it is. It goes in there. It shouldn't kill this early, but if Dingus gets to like maybe 20, I think he really has to worry about that. I think one Nair actually could do it. If he gets both hits, yeah. Yeah. Well, Soft Nair confirms into Waft, I believe, right? It confirms, yeah, but I don't think it'll kill him at okay. this percent. Let's okay. see. Matador just throwing the bike around. More rage going online. That Waft is getting dangerous. I think it's just to be really careful. There's a dash tag. Try to keep him in the off stage. Oh my goodness. The bike eating all of that back air. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, tries him with something, and oh, now he might now, have too much. Now, this is definitely kill percent. Yeah, but now it looks like he has too much rage for Soft Nair to confirm into it. And that should be it. Yes, Sting yeah. Joe narrowly avoiding <laughs> the, dangers oh, of oh the danger of that loss. We saw a Matador try to throw it in up air at the very last second. I think he was looking just like for a panic option, just the way to turn it around. But, whew. Yes. Ding is pulling through, and we're going to see a game three here. It's most likely they played Smash Bros. game one, right? Yes. So now, yeah, it looks like they're going to Lilat. Matador making sure he gets that music counter pick. I respect that. You got to really have, like, the music to put you in your mm -hmm. zone. Like, play with the music you like. We got Corneria. The song bops, dude. Yes. All right. So here we go. Game three. And this is uh, still best of three. This is loser's top eight. So uh, these guys, loser of this gets seventh place. But both these guys really want more. Especially yeah, they want more, especially Dingus. Yeah. Dingus. I mean, I was going to say especially Matador, too. Oh, yeah, well, Dingus getting upset by Ice Egg on winner side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Dingus not committing to it, to anything too heavy. Making sure to respect Matador. Doesn't want to take any early percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the early percent is definitely in favor of Dingus show mm -hmm. until those two up airs, 25% immediately answer back. That was a clapback if I ever yeah. saw one. <laughs> Another, Another one. one. Yeah. Look, the thing is actually pretty much even percent. There's the one that's actually that sucks. even percent. Oh yeah, my that, that was a really that's unfortunate just really one. really unfortunate. <laughs> Literally anything else would have yeah. helped this case, but things looking very bad for Dingus. Matador chasing with the bike. Ooh. And that one actually changed the flow of the entire set. Very much so. Because now Dingus Joe, he was in a position where he has to approach. Nine hands come through clutch. And Mador will go through the other side. But yeah, that bike or that uh, one really uh Set back, might be he the lost field. he lost the advantage he had on Matador. Or he's gonna live that to toot. Mm. But and then it allowed Matador to retaliate back because essentially a free punish. Nice whip punish right there by mm. Dingus, and that's exactly what he needed. Let's see what Matador can do, get it back. Full loss will be coming up soon, so if you can just take the stock really quickly and then find a way to whittle on some percent, he might be able to just clutch this game out. Mm. There's an up smash, and about like three seconds, we'll have Waft on deck. There it is. And one good up smash deserves another. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but now this is actually a big problem for, for uh, Dingus. Dingus. Yeah, because he wasn't able to finish out that first stock fast enough. Now he's in a position where it's the last stock, and he has to worry about that Waft. Okay, grabbing him right off the bike. That could be huge, if he, especially if he keeps him on the right side of the stage. Don't let him get to his bike. And there's the bike. No. Yeah, he lets him have it back, and now that recovery option is back online. Warrior's recovery isn't nearly as strong oh, as his bike. I think, okay, this is definitely, if not definitely, then very close to kill percent for Dingus. Mm -hmm. He's got to be very careful not to get caught by anything here. See Matador fishing. He's throwing the bike. bike. And yeah, now that's guaranteed kill if he gets hit by yeah. that waft. Okay, there's a dash tag, no bike on deck. It back. There's a chef catching him. Ooh. Yeah, Mador, he's just slowing it down, running away, trying to bide his time a bit more so he can like recompose he, himself. He's got three whole minutes to work with, and he only needs one hit, essentially. There's a bite. Ooh. Not getting the sour dash back. Does it up smash? smash? No. Not quite yet. Ooh. Very scary for the both of them. Yeah, now Wario is forced to approach. He's gotten hit off that bike so many times that I think he might be afraid to go for it. Oh, there's a whole mic. There's yeah, a he's playing with fire there. Bad DI from Dingus Show. Putting him in a tricky situation. Another up smash. And now Mador is just wisely choosing to roll away, not even messing with that up smash. It's punish. not worth it. It's not worth it, man. He's got his own win condition to look for. 
Oh, there's oh, a and walk. Was and wow, just like that, Dingus Joe will fall at seventh place. And that was a way to go. Dingus Joe still a little bit shook up about that. He had all the cards in his hand, but the but. ace in the hole was in, well, I guess Warrior's small intestine. Yeah. <laughs> that's where it was, and that's where he'll find victory today. All right. Well, I'm going to be hopping off, let Logic on to the way. So this is Professor.